Hey, Scott here, Scotty's Animals. Do guinea pigs... <laughs> I'm a volunteer at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue, and I did a Google search for do guinea pigs, and Google has a feature where they will fill in the results and these were the top 10 results when I did a search for do guinea pigs. So I thought I would take a minute to answer these top 10 results right now. So let's get into it. Number one. So apparently this is the top result when you search for do guinea pigs. And that is do guinea pigs bite. Well, if you just saw my last video, and I'll put a link to that video right here. I got bit pretty badly the other week when I was volunteering at the LA guinea pig rescue. I facilitate guinea pig bondings and someone brought their boy in to find a match. And if you've seen the bonding rules video as part of the free guinea pig care guide on my website, Scotty's Animals, then you would know that it's only about 20% uh, of a chance that any two random boys are going to get along. Now, with girls, it's about 80% of a chance. And in fact, when new girls come into the rescue after a health check and they, they seem to be okay, we'll just put them in with the herd. And eight, nine times out of 10, they get along fine and there's no issues. But with boys, they have to stay separate until we do a supervised bonding session. And really, it's usually about 20% chance or one in five, sometimes a little better, sometimes a little worse. It really just depends on the piggies. Remember, all guinea pigs are individual, unique personalities. And with boys, essentially in the wild, it would be one male and a bunch of females in a herd. And any boys that are born, they would fight and they would get kicked out and they'd start their own herd guinea pigs boys can live side by side because I get a lot of messages from people who you know they're not as lucky as we are here in Los Angeles where they don't have the LA guinea pig rescue or they don't have a rescue nearby where they can do a play date with their single boy now if that's you if that's the case guinea pig males can live happily side by side you just want to make sure that all piggies have at least a minimum of eight square feet but the question for number one, the search was, do guinea pigs bite? And the answer is yes. Uh, generally, guinea pigs don't bite. They don't bite people, and they usually don't bite each other, given the fact that they are, or if they are in a harmonious group, a harmonious pair, or a harmonious living situation. But like I said, boys, they don't want to live together in nature, so what that really means is that they go through this bonding ritual or they go through this this challenging thing and i've got a lot of bonding videos so i'll put a link actually to that right here this is my bonding playlist first you'll see the bonding rules video which will break down kind of the different combinations and what the odds are of putting piggies together but then i've got a whole bunch of bonding videos of bondings that I've done at the LA guinea pig rescue over the years and I think at this point there's over 50 of them so uh, you can scroll through and see one that maybe maybe uh, you're interested in so back to the first question is do guinea pigs bite if they are in the middle of a bonding session and it's not going well and they're about to fight or sometimes guinea pigs that have lived together for a long time they decide that they don't trust each other there's many situations where guinea pigs would end up fighting and they would bite each other or they would bite you. But I recommend that you check out the bonding rules video and some of the bonding videos in that playlist and you'll sort of get a sense. Guinea pig behavior is very subtle and sometimes, but sometimes when they're about to fight, they face off, they chatter their teeth and they will raise up and they'll lunge at each other and they'll roll around like this in this big this big cloud of a fighting thing rah, 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 rah. and if you put your hand in the middle you'll get bit now i always wrap my hand in a process like this but the other day i did wrap my hand i was able to separate the piggies but then when i picked one of them up a few minutes later when i thought they were calm they and i scooped them up from the bottom and it's my fault and and i just i 
didn't think that that this piggy was upset again and he reached down and and chomped on my hand so i put a link to that video in the information card uh, also it's about what to do if you get bit because you really want to flush that out with some kind of antiseptic or the iodine is what we used it's a betadine iodine solution and it's for it's made for cleaning cuts so do guinea pigs bite generally speaking they don't but will they bite yes and they can bite and i do have another video man we're only on the first search result and i've already put a, a info card for three videos but right here i'll link to the video three reasons why guinea pigs bite so let's move on to the second search result and that was number two do guinea pigs sleep of course they sleep all animals as far as i know have to sleep and but maybe the question is also along the lines of are guinea pigs nocturnal or when do they sleep or how much do they sleep so let's get into that really quick the answer is of course they sleep but guinea pigs are not nocturnal but they don't really tend to sleep all night and they don't really sleep all day but they nap all the time you know generally speaking when the lights are out they are less active and they will sleep for most of the night or they will be quieter for most of the night. They're not like a hamster or a gerbil that's going to be up running around all night. I somewhere read a statistic that hamsters can run three miles in a night. But this is about guinea pigs and guinea pig information. And so guinea pigs, they do take naps during the day and at night. Sometimes you might see your guinea pig sort of asleep with their eyes open. They do tend to sometimes, a lot of the time, sleep with their eyes open. Some piggies will sleep with their eyes closed, but don't be surprised if you see your guinea pig and you think that they're dead, but actually you just gotta look closer, watch their little chest, their little bellies going up and down. Guinea pigs will sleep with their eyes open during the day, at night. They're serial nappers. And <laughs> that's one of the reasons why I think they're so cute and why I love them. They, they're always down to nap. <laughs> so do guinea pigs sleep? Yes, of course. So let's move on to the third one. So the third search results, at least at the time when I put it in, was do guinea pigs blink? Now, that goes back kind of to the second one, which is when they sleep, sometimes they sleep with their eyes open. So you might think, man, does my guinea pig ever blink? Well, I know that if I was to, and you know, you don't want to bother your guinea pigs, but if you were to go, and maybe it's the taco breath, but if you were to blow into their eyes, of course they would squint. So do guinea pigs need to constantly blink in the same way that we do? I don't know. And maybe, you know, you can do some deep research and put that in the comments. I'd really love to uh, read what you've discovered but of course guinea pigs will open and close their eyes and they do make this white milky substance in their eyes that's generally for grooming themselves if you give them a bath or if you catch them and they're kind of you know grooming themselves so I get a lot of emails and people are like oh there's this white stuff coming out of my guinea pigs eyes what's going on that's just a grooming solution so that leads me to think that you know of course, they have to keep their eyes lubricated just as we would. And that reminds me, um, if you want to start building your emergency kit, one of the common injuries that, you know, you don't necessarily have to go to a vet, but I would it, leave it up to your discretion, is a hay poke or an eye bite or some kind of an eye injury. The teramycin ointment that we recommend at the rescue and that I have a link to on my free guinea pig care guide that is crucial for keeping their eyes moisturized, especially in the event of an injury. It's antibiotic ointment, and so it will also aid in healing and prevent infection, but one of the things that it does is it keeps the eyes lubricated. So guinea pig eyes, just like people eyes, they need to stay lubricated or they'll dry out. And you know, if your eyeballs dry out, then they get like the crust over top of it and the, the I'm not a scientist, I'm not a doctor, but clearly the health of an eye requires that it stays moistened. And that's what blinking does. But I don't see guinea pigs blinking like that. But of course they must blink at some point. So I'd love to hear what you guys have discovered. Let's keep going.
So when I did that search, do guinea pigs, and I let Google fill in the rest, they said, do guinea pigs smell? Now, that is kind of up to you and kind of also in what situation? Now, like I said, I do a lot of bonding videos, and when boys are doing their, they'll, they'll start out, sometimes they're really awkward, and within five seconds, one of them has, you know, lunged at the other, or they're tooth chattering, and, and all of a sudden they're fighting. But generally speaking, if it's going well, they will start circling, they'll rumble, they'll be shaking their butts, and they will flare their butts. And when guinea pig boys flare their butts, it stinks. It is funky. That's why I think I named one of my bonding videos the good, the bad, and the funky. <laughs> but it is true. You'll see this. You'll see this flared butt action, and it's super gross. And then sometimes they'll take that flared butt and they'll wipe it on the fleece or whatever the, the bedding might be. And maybe they're marking their territory. But, you know, then you'll see the piggies sniffing that area and... It can get very funky very fast. But as far as do guinea pigs smell, in general, if you keep your bedding clean, if you keep the cage clean, and you need a cleaning regimen, then your guinea pigs shouldn't smell. However, I have found, and I have fleece and I have pine shavings in both of these cages, I have found that guinea pigs that live on fleece, no matter how hard I try, the, the fleece absorbs the pee, but not all of it. Some of it goes back into their fur, or even if it does, they're just laying on the fleece. Even if I change the fleece once a day, they tend to smell a little bit more like pee than when the guinea pigs live on pine, and it's got to be kiln-dried pine, but kiln-dried pine shavings is what we use mostly at the rescue, and in that case, I've found that the, the, the pee wicks down to the bottom and leaves a fresh, what are you guys doing? I've got two new foster boys down here. Stay tuned for a new video about that, but they are separated by grids. And so they've been doing a little bit of, uh, getting to know each other. <laughs> so stay tuned for the, the meet and greet of my two new foster boys, boys, but bear with me with that one. So the question is, do guinea pigs stink? I've found that guinea pigs that live on kiln-dried pine smell very fresh, and guinea pigs that live on fleece might smell a little bit like pee, but if you swap out the smaller pads that are underneath their hides, then the larger pads will stay cleaner, and you can figure out a, a, a rhythm and, and some kind of a regimen that's gonna keep them as clean and fresh as possible. So do guinea pigs stink? In some ways, it's up to you, but if you keep their cage clean, then not really. And certainly, the entire room shouldn't smell. And remember, I would definitely not use any kind of um, air freshener or smelling, anything that's going to make the air smell. You don't want to use that because guinea pigs have sensitive lungs. This back here is a humidifier. That's just plain water because in the winter time it gets very dry in here and I like it to be nice and comfortable for my, my babies. So let's keep going. So when I did a search for do guinea pigs and I let Google fill in the rest, they said, do guinea pigs eat their poop? <laughs> so maybe this is a dirty secret of the guinea pig world. Uh, we're all ashamed of it. Um, <laughs> no, just kidding. But it is true. Guinea pigs do eat their poops, and they're not the only animals do, that do that. Rabbits do it too. They're called uh, sequels. Did I pronounce that right? And I'll put a little uh, definition right here about that so that we can read a little bit about it, and you can go pause the video and read that. But yes, guinea pigs do eat their poops. Sometimes you'll be holding your piggies. Uh, and you'll see them kind of reach down and they'll come back up and they're chewing on something But you didn't give them a treat and you're like, what's going on? And then uh, you get close to them and <laughs> their breath smells like poop Well, they probably just ate one of their poops. Those are their snack poops. I have a theory that it has to do with like in the wild now what I've read is that their digestion, you know, they can't break down. It's like cows chewing their cud. They can't break down, you know, what they eat. 80% of their diet is hay. And that's a very rough 
um, type of food source. And so they can't break it all down easily. So the poop actually has still some undigested matter, you know, or less digested and, and still there's some available nutrients. But I also think, and this is my own theory, but let's see what you guys think about this, is that imagine you got a herd of piggies, they're out in the sun, they're, they're munching away, and guinea pigs have very, very high metabolisms. Like I said, they need to eat a huge pile of hay. 80% of their diet is hay. They should always have a big pile of hay. But imagine, you know, they're eating their hay all day, you know, and one day they get to eat all day long, but then the next day, there's like a hawk circling, right? There's a hawk up there, and they get scared, and so they go hide. And they're hiding in a place where they don't have access to that the 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 field of, of hay or whatever it is that they were eating. And their tummies are grumbling and oh boy. And nature over time they've evolved to have this snack poop. <laughs> so so they're able to produce uh, based through their digestion this this extra food source available. Now, I don't know if that's true, but it just kind of seems logical to me that if they have, you know, such high metabolisms, like imagine if I could just produce a taco out from my armpit. <laughs> oh, maybe I'm gonna have a dream about that later tonight. <laughs> taco, pit tacos. <laughs> okay, I'm getting silly. Let's move on. <laughs> but yes, guinea pigs do eat their poop. So when I did a search for do guinea pigs, the next one, number six, the sixth thing on the list that came up was, do guinea pigs need shots? Now I guess they're referring to maybe the kind of shots that like dogs need, like a, a, a heart shot or a worming, deworming shot. Now um, the way we do it at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue is we give them ivermectin. Ivermectin is a treatment that will kind of like revolution, sometimes vets will recommend that, but ivermectin will uh, prevent mites, lice, and parasites. Try to say that five times fast. Mites, lice, and parasites. Mites, lice, and parasites. Mites, lice, and parasites. Mites, lice, and parasites. <laughs> and what we do is we take an injectable version, don't worry, but we don't give them a shot. Because guinea pigs have um, blood vessels that are very close to the skin, uh, the surface of the skin in their ears, and there's a lot of them, we give them a drop of the ivermectin on the ear, and we do that as part of all of our free health checks for any guinea pigs, no matter where they came from. If you come here, we do the nail clips, we check the teeth, we check uh, for lumps and bumps, we clean their ears, and we check all of their nether parts, and we give them a drop of ivermectin. And Saskia, the director of the LA Guinea Pig Rescue, recommends that we do it several times a year, uh, and she'll do it every three or four months. So we usually will do it as part of every health check. Um, but if you were going to do it at home, you might do it every three, every three or four months, and that would be fine. Uh, there's going to be a theme you'll notice on my website in my free guinea pig care guide. Um, I have videos talking about how you can identify mange, and mange is basically the condition of the mites, uh, subdermal, these are microscopic mites. If you see little critters crawling on them, they're most likely lice, which is a lot more uh, rare than mites, but if you see mites, or I mean, if you, see, well, if you uh, suspect a condition of mites, then uh, you're going to want to treat with ivermectin and we also as i said use it as a preventative for mites lice and internal parasites but if you see any of those then you would want to get the ivermectin treatment so on my website in the free guinea pig care guide in the illness i have a link to the ivermectin that we recommend now there's also the ivermectin is also for sale at the la guinea pig rescue website so i will put a link to that well, you'll see it here, but I'll put it in, in the description, but it's just laguineapigrescue.com. And you should be able to get the ivermectin there, or we can point you in the right direction. So ivermectin, it's not a shot. Guinea pigs don't technically need shots as far as I know, but there are some illnesses where they could get a shot. Like for example, bloat, there is a shot that the vet can give them to start moving the gut along because guinea pigs need to constantly be digesting and if if that digestion stops it can be 
very dangerous, if not fatal. So there are situations, of course, just like any animals, where they might need an injection of some kind at the vet. But in general, as like a preventative, which is what I'm guessing this is, somebody who just got guinea pigs are like, oh, do I need to get them shots? The answer is no, but you might invest in the ivermectin. Now, if you don't want to spend the money to get a vial, a little vial like this would last you basically forever and it probably would expire. And I'm not sure how long it would last, but it would probably expire before you used all those drops unless you had hundreds of guinea pigs. But this room full of, of my rescues and fosters is uh, tough enough, you know, to, to take great care of them like I really want to and need to. So uh, if you don't want to get that big vial, there is the ivermectin paste and it's like 10 bucks and you can get a pea sized amount and you give that once you give it once as a preventative but if they were showing signs of mange you give it once a week for three weeks and i've got the the uh instructions on my website in the free guinea pig care guide so do guinea pigs need shots no not really so let's keep going <laughs> okay this is a funny one number seven do guinea pigs fart. <laughs> now, I used to think no, but then, and are you going to hear like a, <laughs> probably not, but you might hear like a little, and then all of a sudden you're like, <laughs> so I don't know if they fart, but I'm sure just like any animals that are digesting, we have gut bacteria and those bacteria when they're digesting the food and, you know, think about it. We've got all these little microscopic creatures that are living inside our gut, helping us break down our food. And, and as science learns more about digestions, we're learning that they are responsible for a whole lot of things as far as our health goes. So I definitely would suggest uh, learning about fermented foods and eating some of those whether it's um, non-dairy yogurt or kimchi or sauerkraut, these things are really easy to make and really delicious. Now, I read a book that changed my life. Actually, I got the audio book so I could listen to it while I was driving to the rescue. And it's called The Art of Fermentation by Sandor Katz. And it's amazing. It will change your life. Now, I used to do some home brewing, but it's not just about that. It's about all sorts of fermented food all across the world and all throughout time. So, I'll see if I can find a link to that audiobook that I got, and I'll put a link to that in the description. But mm, super yummy, super good for you, and it's really a shortcut to adding flavor and really delicious uh, ingredients to your home cooking. So I would highly recommend that. <laughs> but do guinea pigs fart? <laughs> yeah, they do. You might have them in a cuddle sack, and you'll hear, and you're like, <laughs> but I you know, it's not that bad. So I thought that that was kind of funny there. I don't really have too much more to say about that, but do guinea pigs fart? Yeah, I guess they do. Number eight, do guinea pigs need a bath? Now, if I've got any more space on my info cards, I'll put a link to the easy, best, right way to give a guinea pig a bath right here. And guinea pigs... They basically, like I said, if you keep your cage clean, they're not going to be stinky and they really don't need a bath, but maybe you've had them in a carrier or maybe they've got a fleece underneath their hidey house and it's gotten funky. Over time, every once in a while, every few months, sure, it's fine to give your guinea pigs a bath. My rule of thumb is there's really no limit or... or uh, there's no amount of times to give them a bath that's appropriate. It's really whether or not they're dirty. You don't want your piggies to be gross and dirty. And, and not just for you, for holding them and loving them and like, oh, your piggies are gross. But if they're stinky and they're, you know, dirty, for them, it's not healthy. You don't want them to be gross and dirty for their own health. So if they are dirty, you can wash them. So check out that video that I just put up there in the info cards. Uh, about how to give a guinea pig a bath and that'll get you on the right path. You can use special fancy expensive guinea pig soaps and shampoos or well pet shampoos but there are also just some common household. Um, I wouldn't use some I've seen in some you know message boards and some groups 
Uh, people said, oh, just use Dawn, just use some uh, dishwashing soap. Don't do that. Um, if, it's, if it's safe for you and it's gentle, then it's probably safe for your piggies. But I'll also say an antifungal shampoo like Head and Shoulders, or even a generic version of Head and Shoulders that you find at the dollar store, that is a great uh, shampoo to use. And you'll see all about it in that video. So I won't really spend too much time here talking about that. But do guinea pigs need a bath? Yeah, if they're dirty. So check that video out and let's keep going. All right, we're getting to the end. So number nine, do guinea pigs get cold? Of course. Do you get cold? Does any living creature that is in an environment that is too cold for them normally, would they get cold? Of course. Obviously, some animals, they go into some kind of a hibernation or some kind of a shutdown and, and maybe cold-blooded animals don't get cold. But guinea pigs are not lizards, right? They are mammals. And of course, they are covered with fur and you should have some kind of a house for your piggy. But I would generally say, if you're cold, your guinea pigs are probably cold. If you're hot, just likewise, your guinea pigs are probably hot. Now, heat is a little bit more dangerous for them. They can really easily get heat stroke and they can die. So if you're traveling with your piggies in a carrier on a really hot day, even if you've got air conditioning, if you're traveling in a really hot day, you want to bring a frozen water bottle. What we like to do is take a couple frozen water bottles, put, you know, well, we take a water bottle, put it in the freezer, and then when you're ready to go, you pull it out, and we like to just put it in a sock. And you don't have to tie it up necessarily, but put it in a sock, and you can put it in that carrier, and the sock will protect the condensation and they can lean against it if they get overheated or if they start to feel hot but take that very seriously but as far as do they get cold of course so that means you know if if you live in a cold house you know and you can't keep it I try to keep my house where I feel comfortable and I've got a radiator in here and a fan so I'm circulating the air and try and I've got a thermometer and a hydrometer at all times in here so I'm always trying to keep it you know between 70 and 80 and I'm always trying to keep the humidity you know in the desert it's impossible to have the humidity too high but I'm always trying to keep it as humid as I can and and in the right temperature so do that try to make sure that your piggies are comfortable if you're comfortable then they will be comfortable but just know that of course they do have fur and if you can give them a little a fleece tunnel or a house to sit in you know they can they can generate some heat so you know even in about 65 degrees I would say but once you start if you wanted to put on a sweater then they would want to go into their cuddle sack into their tunnel into their house and and keep warm so definitely keep that in mind but do guinea pigs get cold yes of course they do all right for some reason the 10th search result for do guinea pigs ended up being do guinea pigs like the dark yeah i guess they like the dark maybe someone asked that question because they wanted to know if they should leave a nightlight on for their piggies or i'm not sure what the situation is but you know i don't know about you but at nighttime i turn the lights off you know i want to get some sleep and i want them to get some rest you know, I don't know of an environment unless you live in Alaska in the summertime or at the North Pole, you know, where where the sun doesn't go down all the way. Um, you know, we live on a planet with a, a, a light cycle of days and nights. So that's what I give my piggies at night. When I go to sleep, I turn the lights off. Uh, this light down here is on a timer. So in a little bit, it's actually going to turn off. So and, and then you know, in a few hours when I go to sleep, I'll turn the lights off in here and I'll turn the lights off in my room and I'll turn all the lights off. So do you need a nightlight for your piggies? Are they going to get scared? I don't think so. But maybe the question has to do with how is their eyesight? You know, um, if you turn off the lights, the piggies aren't going to bump into things. You know, I think that they, and also they've got these big whiskers. So I've never seen a piggy and even blind guinea pigs, like Pipsqueak is blind, but he's running around like crazy all the time. And, and so I've never been in a situation where 
the guinea pigs needed light at all times for some specific reason. So are, do guinea pigs like the dark? I mean, are they scared of the dark? I don't think so. Not as much as I am. <laughs> Just kidding. I love the dark. Um, I live out here in the desert and at night when there's not a bright full moon actually like there is tonight, um, the stars are incredible and I can see the Milky Way and when it's dark, the, the night animals come out, there's owls flying around and same thing at the rescue. At night, there's these big tall trees. I was just there last night and the owls were all hoo 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 hoo. At night at the rescue, they turn the lights off. Um, so do guinea pigs like the dark? Of course. I mean, as much as any other person, as much as any other creature. And remember, guinea pigs are people too. So a lot of times questions like these, you kind of ask yourself, well, what do I like? You know, um, remember, I mean, they're animals and, and they're individual personalities. So I, you know, some of these questions may seem silly, but you know, at the same time, you never stop learning about guinea pigs and you never, you know, what boys? Um, you would be surprised what you will discover as you share your life with guinea pigs. Um, and it's every day I learn something new, especially when I'm at the rescue, but there's always something new to, to, there's always some strange, funny behavior to see about them. So I highly recommend that, you know, you slow down and you get to know your piggies and, you know, just watch them. They are super entertaining and fun and they'll let you know, they'll, they will answer these questions for you. Just, it just takes time. So I hope you found this list interesting. There are a whole bunch more. And remember, all I did was search for do guinea pigs, but then after I did that, I searched for why do guinea pigs and a whole nother list of 10 results came up. And then I did how do guinea pigs and where and when. And so I did all of those searches. And so those are videos that are gonna be coming up soon. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, leave me a comment and let me know. And that will really go a long way to informing me about whether or not you found this video valuable, interesting hope I wasn't too silly. <laughs> That's just how we do it here sometimes. So until next time, and oh, don't forget, check out my free guinea pig care guide. I know I'm a broken record about that, but I do get a lot of emails. Now on my website, you can send me an email. There's a contact form, but I know that probably 90% or more of the questions that you might have are going to be in there somewhere in my free guinea pig care guide, or I've got a whole bunch of playlists. I've got uh, a bonding playlist, a care playlist, there's a taming playlist, there's a playlist about how to build your emergency kit, and of course there's a latest videos playlist. So all of my videos uh, in chronological order are listed there. So check out the playlist, check out the guinea pig care guide. If I haven't answered your questions, feel free to message me. I look forward to hearing what you have to say, what your questions are, and I really thank you guys for watching so much. So until next time.